Hello there, morons. It's Victor, give me a break, man. King of the morons here with, uh, to begin with the video, although it's a very negative uh, topic, but as you can see, a toast to, to Bubbling Kettle's uh, fifth niece. Congratulations, apparently his brother is a baby maker. Hmm. 2.11 in the morning. Um, I've been researching herpes today. Uh, anyway, <laughs> wow, what a what a bag, bad se segue that was. Uh, there, I got an email from someone who's quite upset. I won't, I, won't, I won't read you the whole thing. If you want to, you can freeze it on this. But a guy is angry about videos such as Dave Trippin's video, um, in which he claims that, um, well, the, the, the title is Jap Japanese Healthcare's Dark Secret Lying in the Spread of Sexually Transmitted Diseases. And he says STD. Um, by the way, STD in Japanese means straight to, to DVD. Oh, by the way, and I'm, I'm also using a new software called I Show You Instant. I hope you like it. Let me know uh, how you feel. Or maybe my face is too small. I don't know. Maybe too big. Uh, anyway, he's upset. He is an Okinawan. He lives. Uh, he lived in Japan. And he says that uh, a lot of what Dave says is bullshit. And that they do have um, sexual education in Japan. And despite that, there is quite a bit of herpes here. And Americans, there's, there's 72 million people, Americans apparently who have herpes as well. We have, of course, uh, sex education in America as well. Now, um, I'm, I want to make sure that Dave knows I'm not bashing him, I'm, and this is not anything against him again at all. I met him at the party last year, uh, in our the September party that uh, Hiko Simon and I host every year, and he seemed like a nice guy. And he seemed, and I've looked at a few of his videos, and he's a solid vlogger. So good job. Uh, he's doing, he's doing well. Um, I like his stuff. I think he's got a GoPro. He walks around. Maybe he's not a GoPro, but anyway, he walks around doing the same kind of videos I do. Anyway, talking about Japan, educating you guys about Japan, answering questions and such. He's also a very passionate person, which sometimes sometimes the passion can outweigh the facts. And I'm not saying that he's wrong, but I'm saying that if, if he and I were in the same room, we could probably have a discussion regarding some of the things that he claims in his video. And we would probably he we we we'd find some more some common ground, and I think some of the things he says he would he would uh, he would admit that they're not exactly. Uh, well, he, he <laughs> I think I could challenge him successfully on a couple of his points. Now, one of the things he said, the, one of the things that I will not disagree with is that if you are in Japan, you should get a an STD uh, test before coming to Japan. <laughs> And if you're a sexually active person, uh, on occasion. Now, when I was back in the States, I lived, I lived in New York City, and I used to get one every year. Now, thinking back now, I'm thinking that might have been overkill. I used to get the AIDS test as well. And because, you know, in those days, people were like, oh, no, everyone, no, we, we got to make sure we don't get AIDS. Yeah, of course, you do want to make sure you don't get AIDS. But uh, a lot of a lot of the media make, makes it out that AIDS is, is, is an epidemic and it's, it's destroying the world. And, of course, it is destroying some... Uh, it, if you get it, yeah, you're, it's 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 a serious thing. You're not exactly screwed, but uh, it's much more treatable than it used to be. But anyway, the same thing regarding herpes. Okay, so Dave talks about how it's it's a he refers to it in this video. You can watch the video; it's a long video. He says it it ruins your life, and I looked into it. Um, I have an uncle who's a doctor, and I asked him about it on Skype just today. You know. And there's apparently two types of herpes. There's herpes uh, simplex one and simplex two. Simplex two, uh, and they're both they're both um, incurable. And I'll leave you some links in the in the description. This one's from New Zealand, and there's some other interesting stories. Uh, herpes is not as bad as you think, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But anyway, uh, he makes it out to be a really horrible disease, and it's incurable. But just because something is incurable doesn't make it that bad. Now I'll tell you a, a little anecdote. I have a friend who, uh, really nice guy, kind of a shy guy, uh, really good looking guy too, actually, um, a man's man, but he's, he's pretty shy, not, not a player at all. And he, uh, he had his girlfriend and she had herpes and she gave it to him because they were in love and she thought, now we can be together forever. And he's like, yeah, that's not going to work. And he broke up with her. Um, cause that, that screwed up, screwed him. I mean, he was really upset about it. Um, apparently one of the, if you check the who site, where's the who here it is. The site here on who one of the biggest problems is uh, it's a more of a psycholo psychological problem if you look at it uh, let me see um, where is it I don't know where I read it but somewhere on here yeah it can be quite a uh, symptoms here yeah the virus can have a significant negative impact on an infected person's mental wellness and personal relationships 
I actually Googled quite a few times what are the negative effects of herpes, and I really couldn't find any big ones. It does apparently make it, it the symptoms are worse if you have AIDS or HIV, and you can you can transfer it to a, a baby, and a, uh, a baby might it might be fatal to a baby. And uh, let me back up though, because a lot of I, I'm assuming you guys know what what's in my head. You don't, but okay. There's there's two major. There, first of all, there's 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 dozens of herpes, different kinds of herpes. Okay, but the two major ones we're talking about are herpes simplex one and herpes simplex two. Herpes simplex one is basically cold sores that you get on your mouth. Now those can also be gentle if you use your mouth for for sexual purposes, which a lot of us do. A lot of us, a lot of us enjoy that. Uh, so you can transfer it, but it's not nearly as bad as the other one. Uh, herpes simplex too, which can be quite painful at first, but over time the um, the symptoms um, fade away. And a lot of people are asymptomatic, which means they don't show any symptoms at all, but they still might be uh, contagious, contagious, or they, may, they might be able to trans transmit the, the disease. So just because you're not, you know, you don't have sores all over your 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 uglies. Um, you should still be careful, and, and of course, you should always uh, use condoms and be be careful. And uh, I want to say, don't don't sleep with sluts and don't sleep with male sluts or female sluts. But we don't want to slut shame, right? Um, anyway, the it's it's interesting in that I looked at the stats, and yeah, it does look like. Let me look at the, the wiki wiki stats I have somewhere here. Where the hell are the wiki stats? Uh, apparently, well. I have to use memory. About yeah, in Japan, about fifty percent of all Japanese have herpes simplex one, and only one to this is a real this is on Wikipedia one to seventeen percent one to seventeen percent of Japanese women have herpes simplex two, and about three percent of Japanese men have simplex two or three percent have simplex uh, two the, the 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 sexual one the general one general herpes I guess we should call it. I would imagine those numbers are probably higher, and just because those numbers are low doesn't mean you should go out there, you know, sticking uh, your junk and everything. Uh, and if you look at the, the the rates in other countries, are pretty high. So a lot of people have herpes. A lot of people have herpes. Um, millions and millions of people. I think something like in the world, four hundred seventeen million people, a half billion, you know, is it? Or a, like a half billion people have herpes. Maybe more. You look it up. This is, you know, this is not a, a medical show. This is, um, <laughs> this is not a medical show. That's, that's all I have to say. Look it up if you want to know. Go ask a doctor. You shouldn't be getting your information off the internet anyway. But I would like to say that I, I think what happened with Dave Trippin, uh, if you watch his video, he says he's very, he's angry at the doctor for downplaying this. And, and I, t when I talked to my uncle, he was like, yeah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's uh, a little painful. And I really couldn't find any other harmful effects except there's social stigma attached to it, which is a big deal. But, I mean, we, we are you going to wear a sign? Hey, everyone, I got herpes. Don't sleep with me. Just don't tell people unless you're unless it comes up. You don't just, you know, you don't. Oh, that's not an opening line in a self-introduction. Hi, my name is Victor, and I have herpes. No, it's not anything to be ashamed of. It, it happens, you know. It's it may, it's embarrassing, of course. It's, it's uh, an inconvenience, but... If you're an adult, you're basically, you're not going to die from it. It's not going to hurt you in any way that I can tell. And I, I, again, I am not a doctor. So if anyone has a different opinion, please put it in the comments. I, I am an admitted moron. I'll be happy to admit that I was wrong. So put it in the comments. Um, but from what I can tell, it's not that bad. Now, Dave Trippin uh, talks about it as if it, it's a life changer. It'll ruin your life. Um, well, it's a life changer, but it's not It's not that big a deal. Um, I'm sure there are we can think of hundreds of other things that are that are that will affect your life in other ways uh, in worse ways but let me see oh yeah here it is here's the the japanese the, the wikipedia uh, rates on it here let me see um japan right 50 to 60 percent have it this is, is simplex one and seven one to 17 of women and two percent of men okay so it's pretty it's pretty low oh but if you want to you can look at the yeah, peru 92 percent everyone has it in peru man so um, probably my whole family has it. Big deal. USA, 68%. 26% of women, 18% of men. So much higher in the USA. Of course, in Japan, it's probably underreported. Uh, now, Dave also makes these... Dave's been here, I don't know how many years, but four or five years. I think you're at the stage, David, where you think you know a little bit more of J about Japan than you actually do, which I think a lot of people make the mistake of, of doing. 
upgrade again not a diss i'm not trying to discredit you um uh, but a lot of us a lot of us and i'm sure i was the same you come here for a few years and after five years you think you you got a good handle on things but the longer you're here i think uh, actually the more you realize that you just don't know what the hell's going on now at the bottom of your video in the description you say it's an as an honor shame based society japan has a lot of number numbers uh, has a number of strengths and weaknesses weaknesses excuse me um I don't know about that honor shame based based really it's all it's based on honor and shame it's based on honor and shame the society is I, I would disagree with that I would say it's based on hard work it's based on pride honor and pride different but shame I don't know about that um, I could be wrong you guys can discuss that amongst yourself in the in the, in the um, comments below but um, anyway Long story short, long story short, uh, the the doctor that Dave talked to uh, said, hey, you know, it's not a big deal. You, what, you don't need a test. And and Dave got very upset and said he called him a motherfucker. He said, you motherfucker, you're lying to me. But I think what might have happened here is that the doctor might have been confused uh, with what herpes he's talking about because I'll, I'll I this and this is not the only person. I, I only I didn't talk to just one person. One of my students was a doctor. And when I mentioned herpes, because I because this this video is a month old, and I mentioned this, I, I meant to do a video response a while ago. But when you mention herpes to a doctor, sometimes they say, "Oh yeah, not a big deal." Like, yeah, it's oh herpes one, because you know there's many there are many kind of herpes. So from a from a professional, I guess doctor doctor's point of view, he wasn't being I I, I don't I. I don't think he was being disingenuous or, 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 or purposely dishonest when he said there's no test for it. Maybe he was talking about number one. Maybe there's no, there's no real test for it. You just have to wait till you get their symptoms because getting cold sores, you know, uh, it happens. You know, when you get tired, you get cold sores. Um, if I work too 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 hard, too long, and or I'm sick for a while from some other thing, I st I'll get a cold sore too. I have I have uh, herpes a simplex one as well. Um, yeah, so maybe he was talking about that. I don't think doctors are out to deceive you in Japan. And I also think that, uh, yeah, unless you're showing symptoms, getting the herpes text is a little weird, to be honest. I mean, I would I would say, I don't, I don't know. I would, I, I would, I've gotten STD test before, but I don't think I've ever asked specifically for the herpes test. I think a general STD test. And honestly, I don't know if they have them in Japan. Um I've gone to a doctor and he's checked my junk and I've had blood tests, um, really thorough, like a, a, like a 12 or 13 part test called a Ningen Dok, it's called Dok, like, like docking your body into the port to get checked out. Ningen is human, so it's, it's actually literally translates to human dock. And I've had those and, t and they, they look at everything and they take your blood, they, all, all these blood tests and x-rays and, and MRIs and everything. And it costs quite a bit. It's like a three hundred dollar uh, test, or, or you can get insurance to pay for it. Sometimes um, I think, I think my brother who lives here too, he's he's found a way to get get it really cheap. But but mine mine is really thorough. But anyway, I'm healthy. I don't I don't have any problems like that. Um, but again, it's not even if I did, it wouldn't be that big a deal. I'll leave you these posts in the description, and you can read about it. Now, I want to point out one funny thing, kind of funny weird. There's this story from England. And it's two, uh, it's uh, six, five years old, but this guy here, David uh, Golding, he gave his girlfriend herpes, and his excuse was, well, now that you have it, uh, no one else will want it. He wouldn't. First of all, he wouldn't admit it was him. And then he said, well, now you have it. Only I, uh, you know, I'll still love you because I have it, so we can have it together, just like my other friend who had it. The same same story. And um, she's like, no, you're crazy. And they broke up. And then she told the police and he went to jail for 14 months. Now, the weird thing about this story is that the at the end of it here, it says Nigel Scott, spokesman for Herpes Viruses Association, compared the case to prosecuting children for giving their friends chicken pox. And at the end, he says, Mr. Scott argues that herpes is not serious or life threatening. And the law, he was sentenced. He went to jail because the, 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 uh, the judge said what you did was you harmed someone. You harm someone, uh, you hurt someone, right? Physical, uh, I guess it's kind of like an assault in a way. Um, but the guy who runs the herpes uh, awareness cl club or whatever the hell they call it, he's like, it's not, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I would say is, yeah, 
the, the most important thing you can, you can take away from this video is if you've heard the rumor that 50% of Japanese have herpes, it's true, but it's herpes simplex one, and more people have it in other countries, apparently. 92% proved, 60, 68% in, in, in America. And you can look you can look at all the rates here. Uh, I mean, tons of people have it. Um, wow, it's amazing. Yeah, it looks like the average is easily 70 or 80 in countries that are reporting. Look, 99% in Central African Republic, 99% in Morocco. If you ever have a Moroccan boyfriend, Syria, 80 to 100%. Australia, 79 to 80%, even higher there. So it's pretty high all over the world. Um, so don't sweat it too much, but but I do recommend you go check out uh, Dave Trippin. He's got some good videos, and I'm and uh, although I I will disagree on minor points on this one, it's a good video too. You know, do you should get a checked up. You should also wear condoms, but if you're safe and wearing condoms, and you're with a person who has no STDs, then there's really no reason to go get uh, STD uh, checkups every year, right? I mean, I'm married now, and there's really no reason. Of course, if I trust my wife, which I do, so there's no reason for me to go go get uh, STD uh, checkups every year now. <laughs> now that I've been wrangled uh, down on the ranch there. But anyway, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, Japan is not an STD-ridden hellhole that you might think it is. Uh, they do exist here, but they exist everywhere in the world. They're not any anymore. If anything, they're a little bit less in Japan. And a lot of uh, young ladies ha will ask you to wear a condom, and you should if, if you are asked that. And if you're a woman coming over here, you know, and there, there are lots of condoms here. It's not like people don't buy condoms. I've seen high school kids uh, going to Lawson convenience store and buying condoms. Someone told me they don't sell them at uh, Lawson's anymore, but I remember distinctly <laughs> because I was thinking, I can't believe these kids are buying condoms. So that's that's, that's kind of cool, you know. They're buying condoms together. And they have a lot of adult shops that have condoms in them. So condoms are everywhere. Yeah. Um, whether they fit you or not, well, that's another story. Anyway, that's enough. I've talked enough. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot. I'm going to go to sleep. Talk to you guys soon.